Humans generally aren't the biggest of the bunch. A normal man would be around 5 to 6 feet in height or 150 to 180 centimeters for the metric loving world. But in the grim dark, there are mutants that have grown bigger and those that have grown shorter on average than a regular person. Then there are also the huge cyborgs as well as transhumans. So here in this video, we will showcase to you the 20 tallest humans in 40k, at least the ones that haven't been corrupted by chaos or transformed and mutated or at least to the point that they haven't yet turned to the ruinous powers. So let's get to it. 20. We have the Rattlings. These are a diminutive human form known for their exceptional marksmanship and stealth skills. Hailing from the Underhive, these sharpshooters are often employed as scouts and snipers by Imperial forces, using their small stature and quick reflexes to excel in covert operations. These are the smallest standing at an average of 1 to 1.2 meters or 3.3 to 4 feet tall. At 19, we have the Squats, also known as the Demiurg. They are a mostly extinct race in the Warhammer 40k universe. Resembling stocky dwarf-like humans, Squats are renowned for their technological prowess, mining expertise and industrial might. However, they have become a rare sight in the galaxy with only a few scattered enclaves remaining, with the biggest being the Leagues of Votan. They are on average more than 4 feet or 1.2 meters tall. Number 18, the Average Human. So the average human in the grim dark universe isn't as different from the 21st century version. Although there are mutants and ab human species that have diverged from the main populace, most of them are still the same but not much change in the evolution front. They are still of the same size being 5 to 6 feet or 1.5 to 1.8 meters in height. Number 17. Sebastian Yarrick Commonly known as Commissar Yarrick or Old Bailey. He is a legendary figure, a renowned commissar of the Astra Militarum, known for his indomitable will, strategic brilliance, and unwavering loyalty to the Imperium. Yarrick had led numerous campaigns against the Orcs and has become a symbol of resistance and inspiration for humanity. Even respected by war boss Gaskell, Yarrick was stated to be six feet or 1.8 meters tall. Number 16, the Katachan Guardsmen. Also known as the Katachan Jungle Fighters, they are renowned for their survival and combat skills in the jungles of Katachan at Death's World. Trained in guerrilla warfare, they excel in ambushes and close quarters combat, making them formidable troops in dense, dangerous environments. These rough jungle fighters are on average 2 meters or 6.5 feet tall, bigger than the average Joe Schmo. Number 15, Skitari Tech Guards. These are heavily augmented soldiers belonging to the Adeptus Mechanicus, the tech priest of Mars. Equipped with advanced technology and cybernetic enhancements, they form the frontline forces of the Mechanicus, defending their technological secrets and waging war with relentless efficiency in the Forge Worlds. Tech Guards are on average 2 meters or 6.5 feet. 14. The Firstborn Space Marines These are the original and the standard Adeptus Astartes, the iconic superhuman warriors of the Imperium. They are genetically enhanced warriors clad in armor, power armor, combining superior combat skills with centuries of combat experience and unwavering loyalty to the Emperor. The Space Marines are stated to be 7 to 7.5 feet or 2.1 to 2.3 meters in height. 13. We have the Primaris Marines. They are a new generation of space marines developed by the Arch Magus Belisarius Call. Enhanced further than the firstborn, they possess improved physiology, enhanced strength, and additional organs, making them larger and more potent in the battlefield, representing the next step in the evolution of the space marines. They stand more than 8 feet tall on average. Number 12. The Beastmen. They are savage, half-human, half-animal creatures that roam the war-torn worlds of Warhammer 40k. They are the remnants of human societies corrupted by chaos, with twisted appearances and primitive nature. Although some of them aren't really turned into chaos, but just mutated. They launch frenzied assaults on both the forces of order and chaos alike. The Minotaur versions the variants are the size of ogrins around 2.5 to 3 meters or 8 to 10 feet tall. Number 11. Ogrins. They are massive physically imposing humanoids genetically engineered for strength and resilience or either just mutated not engineered. Often serving as the shock troops of the Imperial Guard, their sheer size and durability make them formidable adversaries in close quarters combat, compensating for their limited intellect with raw brute force. Ogrins are stated to be around 2.5 to 3 meters or 8 to 10 feet in height. Number 10. The Custodies. Also known as the Custodian Guards, or the Golden Security Guards, or Mr. El Dorado. They are the elite bodyguards of the Emperor of Mankind. They are genetically engineered warriors of unparalleled skill and physical prowess. 
clad in golden oromite armor, tasked with protecting the Emperor and the secrets of the Imperium, they are among the most formidable warriors of the galaxy. Custodes are tall, around 2.7 to 3 meters or 9 to 10 feet in height. Number 9. Alpharius and Omegon Alpharius and Omegon are shorter than their brother Primarchs. They are the shortest Primarchs. And their legionaries are exceedingly tall compared to other space marine legions. So they can disguise themselves quite easily as an exceptionally tall Alpha Legion Marine. Hence the mystery about their whereabouts or whether one of them really is dead. They would be around 9 to 10 feet tall or 2.7 to 3 meters. Number 8. The Goliaths they are one of the most powerful gang factions in the Necromunda Hives, hailing from the Underhives. Goliaths are hulking broods known for their incredible strength, resilience and affinity for close quarters combat and also for metallurgy. Clad in heavy armor and wielding formidable weapons, they dominate the lower levels of the Hive with their brutal might. Goliaths are employed by the big families of Necromunda. They are 3 meters or 10 feet tall. Number 7. Pollux. Alexis Pollux was known for his massive physical size as he stood taller than all his battle brothers. Even without his power armor on, he still dwarfed most of the other Astartes. He would lead the Crimson Fist for 800 standard years of their existence. He was so powerful that he could end a space marine with a single punch. Pollux is stated to be around 3 meters or 10 feet tall, the size of a Custodes. Number 6. Constantine Valdor Although the Custodes are tall warriors, their previous leader, Constantine Valdor, was taller and more massive than the rest. He was stated to be able to see eye to eye with a Primarch, and he would look down on his fellow custodians. Valdor would be around 10 to 11 feet tall, or 3 to 3.3 meters in height. His increase in power would match his increase in size. Number 5. Most Primarchs So these were the demigod sons of the Emperor, and as such their stature must match their reputation. The Primarchs have had quite a few size estimations over the years, with some putting them in the range of 9 feet and other at the other extreme at 18 feet. But the most accepted one is that they are in the 10 to 11 feet height variations, around 3 to 3.3 meters tall. Well, except for Alpharis Omegon, who are exceptionally short, and Vulcan, who is exceptionally tall. Number 4. Tiberius Also known as the Red Wake and the master of the Kerkaradon chapter, he was described in several sources as the largest Astartes who ever lived and currently still exists. Even if you take him away from his Terminator armor, he still towers over the rest of the Astartes. Anyway, Tiberius is always stated to be the size of a Primarch, therefore in the same size range of 10 to 11 feet or 3 to 3.3 meters tall. Number 3. Belisarius Cowl Call as a tech priest and the Archmagus of the Mechanicum can inhabit various mechanical bodies, some of which can be bigger than Primarchs if he makes them to be as big. He is over 11,000 years of age and has since then made uncountable enhancements to his own body. He has created the Primaris Marines which he calls his little soldiers. Therefore, he was way taller than even the latest gen Astartes which he calls the little soldiers. We would estimate him to be almost 12 feet or 3.6 meters in height. Number 2. Vulcan Vulcan is the largest and physically strongest of all the Primarchs. He is said to be as tall in his power armor as Horus is in his own much larger Terminator armor and is capable of moving and overturning large battle tanks with his bare hands. Although there are images that suggest he was around 11.4 feet tall, I myself would say that Vulcan is easily more than 12 feet or 3.6 meters in height. And Number 1. The Emperor the Anathema is depicted as an incredibly imposing and majestic figure. He is often described as a towering entity over regular humans with an aura of power and authority. Some depictions and artwork portray him as being significantly taller than even the Primarchs and Custodes who are his bodyguards. The most widely accepted size of his is 14 feet or 4.3 meters in height. So those are the 20 tallest humans of Warhammer 40k. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos here on this channel. Take care, boys.